I once spoke to a meter maid She said she'd like to work but not the pay Writing tickets while you run away afraid I said hey to a polar bear He said he'd like to hear but not over there That's what it's like inside a dragon's lair The ice is fading from Winchester, the Supernatural Service Doodle. What's going on, Hellhound Handlers? Well, I had a big day today. As you can see, new me. I now have glasses. <laughs> no, I'm not going to keep them on the whole time because I see there's a terrible glare, but I just wanted to kind of let y'all... Well, I can't even get rid of the glare. Um, just kind of get an idea of what I now look like. I didn't think I was going to be wearing them uh, anything but more than driving and at night. But um, I had no idea how bad my vision was until I got home after our excursion today. When I got home, um, I looked at my table and there was um, a Diet Coke can and Diet Dr. Pepper can on the table. You know, fairly good distance away from me and um, I looked at it without my well, after I took my glasses off and then I said let me just see what it looks like with the glasses on and oh my goodness I had no idea that I really was not seeing things clearly at all in my life now I know so I will unfortunately be wearing these most of the time good news is Caleb thinks they're totally sexy I told him that's just because I'm a bitch and I probably should have always been wearing glasses as per my personality and attitude. So I'm going to take them off now so I don't drive y'all crazy with the glare. Um, my crazy doodle right here uh, going nuts with his con cone. I don't know if you can see him because he's black. But I will tell you that uh, he has taken a liking to my 1960s vintage chairs that um, cost a pretty penny but are no longer worth anything because they're now boogies chairs. Anyways, let's get down to uh, today. Wow, wow, wow. Um, what happened at Walmart? Blew my mind. So Winchester's acting perfectly perfect you know he's being a perfect service dog in training not even a perfect service dog in training just a perfect service dog he was just you know healing on my side he was you know sitting and downstairs he was doing what I asked and we're just shopping minding our own, our own business the three of us and here comes this group of people and they had seen that I had a dog and one of them was like oh turn left turn left turn left well obviously they don't know their right from left because if they turned left they were coming to me but so this girl saw and when I say girl I mean young woman I mean 20 21 maybe and she absolutely freaked out screamed jumped behind the pallet of, or you know the pallet or display or whatever that was in front of us and she was like I'm so scared of dogs and I just looked at her I said honey I said this dog's not interested in you and he's not gonna do anything to you I had my basket blocking him not that I needed it but for her comfort I blocked him with my cart and then I was on the other side and he's at a perfect downstay between me and the um, shelf of food items and she was crying she's like you don't understand I'm terrified of dogs I was like well then I guess you can wait till I'm done because <laughs> here's the thing my medical equipment 
trumps your irrational phobia. And that's exactly what it was, an irrational phobia. I hate to be insensitive, but you can't expect to go out in the world and not expect to see a dog. And it's not just any dog, an extremely well-trained dog that doesn't want you to, that's probably more scared of you than you are it. He doesn't want you to touch him. He's not gonna touch you. I mean, it's a, quit it, quit it. And um, you know, it, it was just absolutely irrational. So I took my sweet little time finishing shopping and that was it. Um, because, you know, the thing is, is that she's just in this um, age group that are so entitled. Sorry, insert hate comments now, but they are so entitled that um, they believe that, you know, uh, anything can trigger them and then they need emotional support or whatever it is they do these days. Go get a coloring book or something. Um, but it's just, it, it was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. And I'm not going to cater to her. I'm not going to cater to anybody because this is medical equipment. This is medically necessary for me. And federal law does not protect her irrational uh, phobias, but federal law does protect him in my supervision. So... Sorry about your luck, girl. Um, yeah, I mean, my dog and your dog as a service dog or service dog in training is covered under federal law. And nobody's phobia of dogs isn't, regardless of what happened to them in the past. If their sister was mauled by a dog when she was two, or if, you know, their boyfriend uh, got busted by police dogs, or if, you know, um, a dog attacked her on the way to the bus stop, or if it was a chihuahua that, you know, bit her ankle once. Regardless, it does not matter. It does not matter. We are protected under federal law, and they're not. So, I am not going to cater to you, and you're not going to bully me because you're being absolutely irrational. Um, the little girl in... Um, in uh, uh, where was I? Um, academy. Um, couldn't blame her. This is just a little three-year-old girl who saw a puppy. She wants up. She wanted to, you know, pet a puppy. So I did what I could do to, um, you know, uh, eliminate anything that could happen. And when she saw us, um, she immediately started crying. Mommy, I want to pet the dog. I want to pet the dog. I want to pet the dog. And I was like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. And um, I said to Caleb, I was like, um, I was like, honey, let's go, let's go, because she wants to pet the dog. Sorry, the camera's shaking. Um, Winchester's shaking my desk. Um, and uh, so we got out of there lickety split um, because I didn't want to be the one to have to say, I'm sorry, honey, he's working. You can't pet him. And I didn't want to be the cause to of that girl, you know, having a breakdown and crying because she couldn't pet my dog. Um, so yeah, so I got over that. Um, so that brings up the, the um, subject of parents, please teach your kids as early as possible. I understand, you know, a three, four year old, that's really, really early, but um, you're gonna leave that, leave it, because I'm, I'm sick of cleaning up after that, stop it. Um, they, um, uh, you know, that that's a little too early, but just please, you know, educate them as early as possible. Um, on a brighter note, a couple other stories we went to, um, let's see, where we go? Uh, we went to, um, uh, Tractor Supply and Hobby Lobby. There were three different parents with children and Three different times I heard the mom say, yeah, look, look at the puppy. He's working, though. He has a job to do. And I heard that three different times. And I looked at all of them, and I just basically, you know, nodded my head and, you know, whispered, you know, mouth, thank you. So there is hope. There is hope. I do believe that um, we are gaining way, service dog community, uh, with um, education. I do think that 
that we are gaining way. And I think that, you know, things are going to get better more than worse. At least I'm going to be hopeful in thinking that. Um, oh gosh. Uh, yesterday, hi Buggy. I'm not nervous. I'm good. Buggy's giving me a hug for uh, deep pressure therapy right now. Um, so yesterday, I don't know if y'all heard, but Kayla brought home this magnificent, magnificent uh, porch swing. I mean, it's huge. It's like six feet long, and I mean, it's it's, it's big wooden porch swing, and it's gorgeous on chains. And um, uh, but it, he he put it up really really high. I didn't notice last night, but today when I went out there this morning, it was up really high. And um, I was like, well, you know, I'm going to watch um, Winchester outside. I'm going to sit here with my cup of coffee. And I basically hiked myself up onto this <laughs> swing. And within 15 seconds, I think, me and the swing hit, hit the ground hard. I mean hard. I felt my hip jar into my spine, my spine jar into, I mean, it, it was bad. It was actually a pretty bad fall. Um, I stood up. I called myself a fat ass, <laughs> as I should, because um, all 140 pounds of me took down the swing. I called my husband and I said, your wonderful swing just almost took me out. And he was like, I didn't have it anchored. Well, nice to know now, but. So, yeah, I'm pretty sore today, but I, uh, I went out and did what I had to do. Um, we, uh, we went to Hobby Lobby and went crazy at Hobby Lobby because I have a new, a new venture I'm going on. I'm going to start making my own service dog vests. Um, I bought a, uh, sewing machine online on Amazon. It should be here, uh, Thursday. And, um, the, uh, um, Caleb knows a little bit about sewing machines. I know nothing. I can hand sew, but I can't use a sewing machine. This is where living near my mother-in-law would come in handy because my mother-in-law is like queen of of all things sewing and crafts. So Liz, if you ever want to take a trip up here and give me a tutorial, hey, we have a second bedroom. Um, but no, I'm gonna start making my own service dog vest and we got absolutely everything needed for, um, the service dog vest. YouTube is going to be my friend. I'm going to learn everything through them. I got a whole bunch of canvas fabric. I got um, Scooby-Doo fabric. I got Supernatural fabric. I got um, everything. Um, so wish me luck on my service vest venture. But anyway, that was uh, what we did today. And uh, that's what I had to say about uh, public access and people's rights on this vlog. Uh, if you like my video, please like and subscribe. Um, starting, I promise, starting this week, I'm going to start giving out um, cool little um, gifts to y'all. And if you, all you have to do is just like and subscribe or comment saying that you want to be in on the raffle. And I think Winchester himself is going to choose the winner. <laughs> I love you. Um, and then y'all can get it. It's, got, it's all going to be pet dog gear, not service dog gear, of course. But some of them will be training aids. Um, so who knows what I'm going to be giving out this week. Um, I think my next video, I'll probably shoot one tomorrow. But the one that I will be um, um, saying what the gift's going to be, nothing big. Nothing, you know, more than $20. But, um, you know, I'll probably be unveiling the gift Um Let's say Sunday. Let's say Sunday. All right. Well, until then, if you have any questions for me, you can always email Winchester at winchester.servicehellhound at gmail.com or um, his Instagram is Winchester Service Hellhound. And of course, you can always leave a comment below. Um, music, of course, is provided by Loud and Swain. It's Eskimo. Loud and Swain is the best indie rock group in the world if you ask me and till next time see you later hellhound handlers bye